Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's episode of Yard Sale Sundays, I show you everything I found this week at yard sales and moving sales and estate sales. So if you like this kind of content, I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel. And of course, you can always find me on Instagram at Nicole North Garden. Here we go. So this week I was kind of battling rain as I went to go to yard sales. Uh, there were, I did hit two very good sales, uh, but there weren't as many because it's Memorial Day weekend. So people go north on the weekends. And so especially on Memorial Day, there's not usually a ton of sales. So let's start with all of the stuff I got from the various free piles. Two of the items, I will have to um, take the camera down and turn them around, so I'll insert a clip of those. So these are two very large popcorn tins. The woman I got them from works at a popcorn store, so she took them but wound up not using them. So I will definitely put these to good use. I am actually going to spray them with Rust-Oleum clear coat and use them on my porch at Christmas time. I got this, which totally reminds me of my childhood. It's very like 60s or 70s. Someone painted it purple. I'm not gonna leave it purple. I'm probably gonna paint it white. Or maybe that aqua color. I don't know, maybe get funky. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm not even sure exactly what I'll use it for yet, but I picked it up because it was free and it reminded me of my childhood. I got these, which I may not use for Christmas. I might spray them and use them in my dough bowl, which I'm gonna do a video on shortly. Then I got a ton of Christmas greenery, all free. This is also really expensive and I use it all over my house. I don't have a ton of this nice looking stuff because it's expensive and I don't like to pay stuff, pay a lot for stuff. So, but these were nice and these are from two different houses. I don't know, people were just unloading Christmas this week. I'm covering myself in glitter as I do this. Um, this little box of ornaments, I mean, this one's new, Designer Excellence. So it's just a Christmas present. These I think are from Target. No, they say Pier 1, but I love owls. And so I thought that was adorable. I'm gonna use that on my Christmas tree. I got a penguin, is that a penguin? A penguin, right? Got a penguin, whoops, I got a pickle. You're supposed to like hide this on your Christmas tree. I forget whose tradition it was. Is it a German tradition? I'm not entirely sure, but you're supposed to hide that and then like the person who finds it gets a prize or something. And then this, I love this, because I love birds, I've told you that. A little cardinal, and he will go on my tree. Oh, and this I got, it's also for Christmas, but I'm not gonna use it for Christmas. I got it because of this. I told you I'm kind of collecting these larger beads that look like water for something I'm doing outside, which I will show you soon, I promise. These I'm probably, these were in the Christmas too. I'm gonna hang these in my garden um, for a little sparkle in the garden, so. Now that definitely covers all of the free stuff. Now I will move on. I have a few things that I'll use also outside on my deck. So here, this was a set. It's this and two matching candle holders, which I love. And they have that blue color. And I'm gonna, this, I was actually thinking I might put this in a pot upside down I like to put things in my pots, so just to give it a little more visual interest. So I'm probably gonna do that, and these I'll use out on my table out there. This is actually very heavy. It's a wrought iron candle stand. I'm gonna use it for a pot. So I told you I like to put things under my pots, either when they're on the deck or when they're on a table. So this I'm gonna use under a pot on a table. Then I also got this. Now this is starting into, which I'll show you next. One of the sales I went to was a woman who owns a shop in the western suburbs, I guess, of Minnesota. I haven't, like of Minneapolis, sorry. I haven't been to the shop. My husband's heard of it. So several of the things that I got were her inventory. She was just trying to clear out inventory to make room for new inventory. And so she takes old objects and makes things out of them. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's all the things that I do, but I don't have to do anything to them. So I actually got several things that I'll just use and they're her artistry, they're her handiwork, and I can use them in my home. They fit my style, but I don't have to do anything to them. So this was one of those things. It has a birch candle holder in it. The thing is marked at 12 bucks. 
I would not have paid 12 bucks for either of these things or both of these things, but I paid $2 and I thought that was a good deal. Birch trees are a huge thing in Minnesota. I love them. Um, we actually have one in our yard and I make birch crafts out of it. So that covers all of the outdoor things. I'm going to show you all the things I got now that are from her shop. I got two of these. They were 25 cents a piece. She had them originally marked in her shop at $5. I love this. I thought this was so cute. It's just a little clipboard that she made and it says joy, 25 cents. And a little snowflake block that was 25 cent, uh, 50 cents. This also, which I thought was so cute. And that was 50 cents as well. Little, another one of those little kind of decoupaged blocks. This I love. It says farm fresh, Christmas trees, cut carry, um, pine, cedar, fir, and spruce. So that was cute. That was 75 cents. Got this for my kitchen. This was also 50 cents. She had it originally marked at 18. Would you ever pay $18 for something like this? I would not. But I would pay 50 cents. Actually, and then it looks like no one bought it for 18. So she marked it down to five. I'm like, hmm, that seems a little more reasonable. This was 50 cents. It's like a bed leg or a dresser leg. I don't know. I like old objects and I thought it was cool. So, <laughs> so I got that um, for 50 cents and it had a tag on it. I think she was charging like $6. I would not have paid $6 for that. Okay, so the next thing I found is probably my favorite find of the week. I need to turn the camera around. So I'll insert a clip and I'll tell you about it in that clip. So these were one of my favorite finds of the week. They're all brand new pillows from this woman's shop, from the Mama's Happy Shop. And some of them, I mean, originally, she, I mean, they're handmade, the covers are, and she had them marked originally at $48, had marked them down to 20 in her shop. And I got them each for $2. So that this one I'll use for Christmas. These I'm using on our couch in our living room. The room we're in right now is our family room. So this gray one and these two yellow ones are being used in this room. And then those are for fall. Okay, so those pillows were amazing. And I have been looking for pillows for our house. So I was super excited to find those. Um, so that was favorite find of the week. That was awesome. These she had priced at 50 cents a piece. They're new and she made them. They're table runners. So I got this one, it's like gray stripes. This one looks kind of like a dishcloth fabric or something. I don't know, I thought it was really cute. I got that one. Okay, and I got this one for Christmas. It has like musical notes and it says Noel on like, almost like a burlap looking fabric. I thought that was really cute. And this one. It's just a gray stripe. This was adorable. It's a painted mason jar in the color I love. She calls it duck egg blue, by the way. And it was a dollar. She originally had it marked at 18. Would not have paid 18, but I thought for my house, it's completely perfect and I don't have to do anything to it. I don't have to DIY it, so that was cool. These came from various different sales. I got this for 50 cents. This was really pretty. And I got this clock which i love clocks i have a thing for clocks i actually don't even know if it works yet i need to test it but it was so pretty because it's leather and i like the face and it was only 75 cents so i'll test that and let you know but that was pretty this is for my bedroom it has birds again birds 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 i saw something like this at michael's for like 20 dollars yesterday so i was pretty pleased i only paid two dollars so it's kind of decorative and practical. It is, the measurements are actually accurate. I thought that was really cute. That was a dollar. Oh, then I got this. I love this. I don't know. It's probably not actually old, but I've always wanted one that has all the pieces and this one does. So it was $3. It's got all the, the little layers, which I just thought were so cute. Get down to this little teeny tiny one. And then some little fall items. Oh, I love this. He's so cute. He was 25 cents. And actually he's so cute. I might also put him outdoors for summer and then also use him for, for fall. He's kind of heavy. 
I think he's metal. He's cold. So I think he feels like metal. I got two of these. They're yellow glass. They're little acorns and the tops come off. Those are adorable for fall. And one is like a purpley color. This is really pretty. Um, it has that like faux water. I'm going to put a ribbon around it. I saw one of these at Michael's for $70. I can't imagine in those Michael's flower arrangements, does anyone ever buy them and for that price? Because they're outrageously priced. I don't understand it. I'm like, are you kidding? Is that a joke? But anyway, this was $2. Some faux lemons. I have been on the hunt. You know, there's all these challenges on YouTube using lemons in your decor. I could not for the life of me find lemons, but I found these and the bag of them was 50 cents. And then I got this to repot. There's a, a house plant that I have that needs a bigger pot. And so I got that to put that house plant in. I got some vintage books. This is called Miss Francis's Ding Dong, Ding Dong School Book. And I got it, I'll probably use it in displays for 4th of July and for Christmas, because I like to stack books that are the color of the holiday, but it's also just adorable. And you can kind of see, it's all about going to school and activities you could do at school and things you can pretend once you make those things. Oh, it's just adorable. All right, and then I got these. Now these are just so sweet. Okay, so my mom passed away the day before my 20th birthday. So I did not have a mom. I had my mother-in-law who's been super helpful to me, but I didn't have a mom to like teach me all the things that you need to know when you get married and have children and are setting up a house. But my mom did leave me her recipes and her cookbooks. And so those have always been really special to me and like a reference book for me. She used these, they're very well loved cookbooks. I have like the Betty Crocker and the, the red and white, is it the red and white one, Betty Crocker? But I have the red and white one and I have an old, some older ones too. But anyway, so these I found and they're from 1961. My mom got married in 1968. So this is like her time period. So it's Betty Crocker's Outdoor Cookbook and Betty Crocker's Guide to Easy Entertaining. And so I'm gonna add these to my collection of vintage cookbooks that my mom left to me. There was one other sale that I went to that I forgot I went to until I looked at this. And the man hosting the sale is a vet. He's in a wheelchair and he just has like a sale every weekend. So it's in his garage and they raise money for the food shelf and he's a retired army vet and everything oh everything at his sale is a dollar and I was like eh. I was looking around and I you know I didn't really see anything but then once I talked to him I was like I want to find something so I found this and I think it was on border bananas I saw that like she used something like this to put like her soap dispensers on um I might put like cuter feet on it but does have the rubber feet. And I'm just gonna um, condition it, maybe put oil on it just to, you know, condition the wood a little, it feels a little dry, but I thought it was really pretty wood. And so that was a dollar and that was a cool sale to go to, to support the food shelf and to just to support him um, as a army vet. Two more items, which I will take the camera down for. I got this wreath for a dollar and I'm probably gonna add to it for the holiday, but I thought it was really cute. She made these little like buffalo check balls to go with some rustic stuff. And it has a hanger, it's a, you know, a buffalo check hanger. And then this is one of my favorite things. It was $3, but it's just an old apple crate and it has a snowman on it, which I thought was adorable. I'm gonna use it year round. I have trouble passing up wooden crates. I adore wooden crates. Okay, so that's all that I have for you today. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this haul and all the things that I found this week. If you like this kind of content, I do yard sale Sundays every Sunday in the summer. And I also do Friday thrift finds. And then I also post videos showing what I do with all the things and some DIYs upcycling my thrift finds. So I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel and you can always find me on Instagram at Nicole North Garden. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time.